In this video, I would like to show you how powerful it is creating presentations using a variety of file types in TDO's Image Organizer. This is very useful when creating presentations for peers and lectures, however also to create presentations for your patients to go over topics such as cone beam imaging and fractured teeth. Click your Images button on your top toolbar to open the image organizer. By default, this opens to your current patient's images. We're going to go to lectures and we're going to scroll down to the bottom and add a new lecture called YouTube Demo. Now that I have my lecture file saved, I can add images and other file types to this lecture. So now I'm going to click my Organize button. This gives me two different window panes in my image organizer. I have my lecture that I'm working on open at the top, and on the bottom I'm going to go to Libraries. These are different files saved into different library categories, and I'm going to go to one that we have saved as TDO file types. This is just an assortment of different file types saved, including PowerPoint presentations, videos, email screenshots to show for demonstration purposes. I'm going to select all of these images by clicking the first box holding my shift key and then the last box that selects everything from that grouping. Click, hold, and drag those up to the top window. And that takes everything that I had selected and moves it up. Next, I want to take some items saved in different library categories and move it into my current lecture that I'm working on. Let's see, I want to go up to my Burbaum lecture, take a video from here, click, hold, drag, and move it up to the top. Now I'm going to my base recall category and I'm taking this PDF version of an email and I'm going to move that up. Next, I'm going to go to my Access as New Conservative Library category, and I'm going to take three of these images, and I'm going to move those up. Now I'm going to go change to my Lecture category, and I'm going to go to Dr. Carr's 2013 Deer Valley Lecture, and I'm going to take the CBCT image, move that one up, and finally, I'm going to take from the 2013, I'm sorry, 2010 scientific session, I'm going to take this cone beam and move that up as well. Now that we've created our lecture, let's go ahead and play the lecture as you would in a demonstration to another peer or a patient. My second button right here is Slideshow All Images in this category. This first item is a PowerPoint presentation. This was saved as a PPS, so you really don't see that you're in PowerPoint at all. This is all done directly through TDO. And I'm going to click through these images. So how is it that as a Next strategy, item as a specialty, a video with audio. you can start to generate the kind of evidence that informs these decisions and makes it evidence-based? And it seems to me that you're never going to be able to do it by trying to do studies that look at each individual decision as an isolation thing. So you may have two different agents that you use for disinfecting the, the canal. Are you going to do one randomized study for that and one randomized study for different little tools you use and one randomized study for this brand of microscope versus that? I mean, I doubt you're going to be able to get enthusiasm for doing each of those. And even if you do it, no one will know if this agent is better in this setting and this tool was better in that setting that it means that when you put them together, the results are additive or rule out. Maybe they both address the same issue and whichever one you use is fine and you don't need both. It's very hard to know. Video's done. I close my video box, click my mouse, and the next item comes up. And again, another video with audio. I'm not going to watch.
watch this whole video, close that window, brings up the next item. This is a this is a standard just image file. I click through more image files. This is a PDF file. Another PDF file. And again, you can scroll through the pages of these. This is just showing that you can include audio files. An image of a letter that was sent. Image file. In this theory, which was developed another video in the 60s, well, 50s, 60s, and we assume that we've got two groups of um, patients normal patients and abnormal patients and that they are close distributed this one. a PDF file of an email that was saved image image pictures and this is a cone bean one of the nice features in TDO is during a slideshow, if you want to show more detail, I can click this Open Patient Draw button. It opens up that image where I can now manipulate it. I can zoom in to certain areas. I can zoom back out. And when I'm ready to go back to my slideshow, I double click on the word Slide in the lower left hand corner, and I'm right back to my slideshow. Again, another cone beam image. I can click my open patient draw. I can zoom in and out. I can move my focus to different parts of the screen. Double click on slide, takes me back to my slideshow. Slideshow is finished, takes us right back to our image organizer. I hope this video helped show you how you can use a wide variety of file types to create presentations using TDO.